Well, the heat wave has yet to reach a peak. Here's Chief Meteorologist Joe Diaz. Yeah, it's hard to believe that, though. Yet to reach a peak. In fact, we're going to have a couple peaks with this heat wave that's going to last for days. So what we're looking at, we're seeing that heat wave starting to build. We'll see it peak this week on Friday and then early part of next week again. I say just scattered showers and thunderstorms, some strong to severe ones over eastern parts of the state. But here in Albuquerque, we're looking for several days of 100 degree temperatures or hotter. Now we're back under a heat advisory tomorrow throughout central, southern, eastern parts of the state. So the heat will be extreme. Make sure you limit your time outside. Now wrapping around this area of high pressure. We had those thunderstorms I was showing you around Highway 60 and some backing over eastern parts of the state, but this high pressure will expand over the next couple of days, so it's really not moving anywhere. It's going to be hot with those showers and thunderstorms over eastern parts of the state especially, and with it, we're going to have this area of high pressure start to build and strengthen going into Friday, and this is a big dome. Uh, I guess you could look at it like a heat dome, and with it, we got the sinking air. As that air sinks, it kind of traps the heat at the surface and can't let it escape, so that's going to be the play. It's going to break down a little bit over the week and only to build back as we get into the early part of next week. What about those showers and thunderstorms? You see it exiting eastern parts of the state for tonight, quiet in the morning, but as we get to mid afternoon from the central mountain chain eastward, there could be a few scattered showers and thunderstorms, some reaching strong to severe levels eastern parts of the state, so be alert for that. The lighter shade of green, more the isolated showers and thunderstorms around, but uh, as we look at it, we're going to be uh, kind of similar to today we're going to be warm in the morning. We'll get that steady warming trend room for a passing shower storm, but we look to hit the 100 degree mark again yet for tomorrow only to strengthen a little bit thereafter. You see temperatures in the 90s and 100s throughout most of our viewing area. A few strong storms eastern parts of the state will go into Friday. This is where the heat starts to reach a peak 103 to 105 from Albuquerque on into Socorro and getting into the start of the week. Uh, yes, the heat is still with us except northeastern parts of the state, but uh, that's going to be the trend over the next several days. Four Court Region forecast looks like this in the 90s throughout Cortez, Durango, Chinle, Gallup, Grants. We'll see you that 100 degree mark or higher over the next several days. Now, if you're looking at the showers and thunderstorms, they're going to be spotty from Socorro down to TRC and Deming, so uh, they'll be hot, not as hot, but stormy at times the next couple of days around Silver City, backing off a little bit before it starts to pick up again as we get into next week. Southeastern New Mexico, showers and thunderstorms scattered around Ruido, so working into eastern parts of the state on a very isolated to scattered basis, but the uh, heat will be really extreme levels for Thursday, Friday, and then increase it again with that uh, second part of the heat wave building yet again. Northeastern parts of New Mexico, the more you go to eastern parts of the state, those storms will be getting stronger. Then a backdoor front will work in over the weekend. That's going to spread in more humid air, dropping temperatures and scattered showers and thunderstorms increasing yet again. 88 in Chama, 93 Los Alamos, hot mid 90s. Next couple of days in Santa Fe, there could be some spotty showers and thunderstorms over the weekend. But look at that, 97 degrees on Tuesday, so extreme heat there. And we're going to have that uh, warm start giving way to a hot afternoon. Room for a passing shower or storm, but triple digit heat for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Hey, <laughs> that's your pick day for the weekend, 97 degrees. And look how it builds back to 103 by Tuesday. So, you know, there's a change. There's a change over the last couple of days. Past couple of days, we're going for <laughs> seven days in a row of triple digit heat. Yeah. And look at this, look at this big change. This big cooling trend is starting to kick Wow, what happened there to Sunday? I know. I, there falls. could be a cloud around is what I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah, you know? Yesterday that was going to be 100. It could be 100 again. We don't yeah, know. Or we could go to 95 and <laughs> yeah. really be cold. But okay. you notice how the heat wave builds here. Yes. High pressure backs down a little bit, so less heat only to build back again by Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. And then after that, as we get to the following part of the weekend, we could have lower temperatures, more humidity, and more storms around. Did you take notes? That was science. It went right <laughs> over my head. <laughs> Thank you, Joe.